So hopefully have some people jump on soon in the next few seconds or so. Um, but for the most part in this video, I'm going to be using products by e.l.f. Um, the video I did uh, recently. Hey, Cheyenne, thank you for getting on. Um, I did a video recently with the hey, little e.l.f. Yay! bite size palettes, my hey, unboxing of it. Um, oh, thanks, Jessica. I'm glad you made it. Um, as you can see, I have helpers too, so I'm sure you have helpers watching. Um, but so I did the unboxing with these little palettes and I swatched them and I really wanted to try them out and I hadn't actually gotten to yet. And I was really supposed to work today, but they ended up calling me off. So it was like a surprise. You get to stay home kind of a day. So I thought, well, what else would I want to do on my day off other than do a new YouTube video? So here I am. Um, but anyway, so I learned a we ran to Walmart for laundry soap too. Yeah. So I picked up a couple other things by Elf I wanted to try out too. Uh, I don't know if either of y'all have tried out the Elf Foundation. It's been out for a while. It's just new to me. So I picked that up. Oh, I'm good. You just put one to sleep. No, um, my oldest two are at least at school. There. Okay, now I got the big screen up. Okay, that'll be easier to see. I got their 16 hour camo concealer. I had looked at that one when I did my online order and I didn't actually go through with um, getting it. So I've got mostly elf products, but there's a few things like I was going to try to use one of the eyeshadows as like a bronzer. And then I thought, whatever, it's fine. So I got my wet and wild uh, bronzer. So it still must be like really affordable products at least. Ow. Oh, you didn't like the concealer or the foundation? Or I'm going to try it out. If I don't like it, I'll take it back to Walmart. Um, so this primer I've heard a lot about. It's the Poreless Putty Primer. That one I showed in the unboxing, so I've gotten it then. So, um, anyways, people keep raving about it, so we'll try that out. Um, I also, oh, the concealer is too dry. Okay, well, if I don't like it, like I said, I'll take it back. Did you try out the foundation? The last time I did a live with the boys up, they were like super, oh, okay, cool. Well, maybe I'll like that one then. I don't know. I can find a lot of foundations that I like, but whenever it comes to concealers, I don't know. It just, that's just it. Maybe I guess like a lot of them can be too dry. And I have dry skin. So if this one doesn't work out after this video, then it might get tossed. Yeah, I don't hit pan on hardly anything because I have too much stuff. Um, yeah, there's Alex. <laughs> hey, Alex, do you still want to watch Toy Story? Okay, we'll bring the remote. I tried fixing them lunch so that maybe they would uh, be a little more cooperative. All right, I'm just going to use that for the eye primer today, too. Well, it's a pretty good price no. for a foundation. Like, I've tried um, no. to find... It's Toy Terror. I know, Toy of Terror. Toy of Terror. Um, let's see if we get this on. But, yeah, like I was saying, I've tried to find, like, cheaper, like, drugstore foundations and concealers that I like. Like, I tried that Wet n Wild Photo Focus that everybody raves about, and I didn't really like it. It, um separated really bad in my face after a while. Like I kept thinking it was me and then I tried it several times and I had a friend that also tried it. Okay, the one thing I'm saying about this primer though, I don't know, maybe it's just me because it's like maybe user error because it's new to me. It's kind of almost hard to tell how much you've got, but it feels smoothed out. So we'll move on. Um, anyways, okay, good. The TV's on. What about it? You didn't like in that oh, okay yeah i just that that wet and wild one like even tati raves about that wet and wild one i i don't get it like if there's something that i'm doing wrong with it maybe but otherwise i have no clue why people like that one it doesn't last it separates good see i knew i liked you jessica because my friend jennifer hated it too she's like i don't understand what the obsession is with this thing toy of terror um. Okay, no, no results. Let's go back. Sorry, Alex. We have it up here, buddy. And, okay, so, Jessica, I know you've seen the video, too, with the, um, 
with the elf bite size palettes were there any ones in particular you wanted to see because i've had a real hard time deciding on uh which one i wanted to try out today uh, oh look there's the toy story of terror all the kids love Toy Story, so it's like a very easy go-to for basically everything. Hey. Hey. Oh, hush. Hey. Hey. Steven, you have to chill. Hey. No, you're so helpful. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. I think a lot of the ones people have been um, talking about, if they win the... Um, oh, hold them up. Okay. So this one right here, this one's very bad. Like got a lot of like rose kind of berry tones, obviously because of the berry. Were you a fan of Kobe? My husband was. He was actually, um, he was kind of bummed the whole entire night after we were watching. Um, we had the TV on. I don't remember what we were actually watching, but we were watching the TV when it came across with the news alert initially. This one is rose water. But yeah, my husband was... Um, pretty upset over it kind of all night. He told me, he's like, I don't understand. It's not like I knew him personally. This one's Ashe U. That's the blue one. Um, but I haven't actually had the TV on at all today, so I haven't seen any other updates on it. This one right here is the hot jalapeno. And this one is pumpkin pie. I know a lot of people have said that they were interested in the pumpkin pie one also. My husband's actually, he's really into basketball. I swear basketball season goes for like forever. He loves football though, but um, he always has basketball on. All right, let's see. This one is truffles. That one's kind of like the darker, smokier palette out of the group. This one was carnival candy. I don't know. There's something about this one that's real pretty, too. Uh, yeah, my husband actually is a really big Cowboys fan. Well, he gets aggravated with them, but he is a Cowboys fan. Like, he'll go through spurts where he's like, I don't like the Cowboys. You know, there's too much drama in the NFL. I don't feel like there was that much drama when we were kids, but um, this one is a cream and sugar. I don't really, I can't really say that I have, like, a big NFL team that I really like root for anymore because like my dad's a huge Steelers fan so my parents are from Pittsburgh so growing up you know that's who you were supposed to root for you didn't root against your dad I know you've got the shark um and then my husband's a huge Cowboys fan so like no I don't keep up with the Kardashians at all <laughs> <laughs> seriously for years like I even fell out of the makeup loop like I basically you like the blue and green and the pumpkin that's a lot of pretty colors um I think these were the last two that I held up okay so I think I'm gonna actually use the blue one because that's kind of what I was thinking um but no, as far as going back with the Kardashians, no, I haven't kept with anything. Like for years, with all the kids being so small, I've literally gone to work and been a nurse and had a lot of babies. So, <laughs> no, I haven't had time to keep up with hardly anything. The shows that we watch, like my husband obviously watches sports, and then we basically um, we watch the show Supernatural. And I've never even really been into horror movies, but there's something about the Supernatural that I actually really like. And then I'm going to do the eyes first, too, in case there's fallout, because um, I feel like there might be. Um, I know there are too many to choose. There's a lot to choose from, but I've been feeling like I really wanted to try out some of these blues. I Honestly, I really kind of like this light blue light right there, so I think I'm going to do that one um, in the crease, at least. And these are the brushes I got from that company, um, Do Care, on, um, yes, I have seen Titanic uh, years ago. <laughs> uh, that has been a very long time since that movie came out. I was 12 when that movie came out. Um, okay, so that's kind of a, it's a little bit flatter, but of a fluffy kind of a brush there. I'm going to take that one. Oh, Yes. Oh, okay. Are you a Dean or a Sam fan? Because I've never asked you about that one. I'm Dean all the way. Granted, I love some Sam, but I like Dean. Dean's my man. Um, yes, and we love everything on the Disney Plus. Um, I'm thankful my sister gave me her login for that. <laughs> I'm 
I'm so sad it's the last season of Supernatural. My husband was actually watching some of the older episodes the other day. Um, I think they were just they were just on, and he happened to have like the day off from work, so he's just randomly chilling watching some of the old Supernatural. Um, I was thinking, I was like, you know, I don't know what we're gonna watch when that show's over. Like, we watched one episode of Stranger Things because a friend of mine at work was talking about that she liked that one. And um, I've heard really good things about it, but we just haven't gone back to it. Like we, okay, as far as new shows, we actually did start watching that. Um, oh crap, what's the name of it? It's about, the, it has a little girl in it. She was in like a helicopter crash. Um, emergence. Oh, definitely Dean, definitely Dean. With that empire. Um, but Emergence is actually really good too. I don't know how long they'll be able to drag that show out though. Like they're having a lot of twists and turns with that one though. If you haven't actually seen it, um, it's a pretty good show. Sorry about the lighting. I tried really hard to get the lighting as best as I could too. Okay, that's definitely a light blue, but that's kind of what I wanted. I don't know. I really haven't been like. I haven't really wanted to do like smoky anything here recently. Like I have a little, but just been feeling more lighter shades. Do you like The Bachelor? Um, actually, I used to watch The Bachelor like the first few seasons when it first came out, but. Now I don't really keep up with it. And one of it, I think it's just really and truly because my ro my work schedule kind of rotates the way that it does. Um, so it's not like a consistent, um, like I don't always have the exact same days off. And by the time I get home at night, it's already like between 8 and 8.30. Like on a good day, I'm home by 8 o'clock at night. On a long day, I'm home at, um, oh, Oh, that's kind of disappointing. I would like to actually finish watching Stranger Things, though, because so many people really like it. Um, but, yeah, Emergence is good. I do like that show a lot. And they keep having so many twists and turns in that show. It's kind of crazy. All right, the blue one up a little higher on the one side than I wanted. Oh, but back to The Bachelor. No, I just, it's been so many seasons. I have a lot of um, the girls at work that keep up with it because when they get home and they don't have kids, they can just, like, turn it on and they can go back and check it out. We just can't because one, my husband's constantly watching sports and then we watch supernatural and we watch emergence. So occasionally we'll check out the big bang theory whenever we, um, whenever that comes on on reruns or something, this one's called rose water. It's a little bit lighter. Um, do you watch the news? No, I don't like the news. I grew up with my parents watching the news. Like they would watch it from the time they got up. My mom watched it. Um, good morning America every morning. They watch the news every evening from 5, 5.36. They'll watch it before they go to bed at night. Like, that's all we did, and I grew up near Memphis. So, if any of y'all are familiar with Memphis, all of the news on Memphis is bad. Everything is bad on the Memphis news. So, now that I'm a grown-up, I don't really want to watch the news if I don't have to. So, <laughs> I'll catch it occasionally. Like, I don't mind watching it every once in a while, but a lot of times with... That's the thing. Whenever we were kids, though, like we didn't have the internet as much to get your news, but now you can for the most part. If anything important happens, a lot of times you hear about it. In The Bachelor, I hear about it from all the girls at work. They talk about all the drama on The Bachelor. Um, these are both really pretty. Um, yes, yeah, so I love Disney. I watch a lot of Disney. We watch a lot of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I could probably tell you all of the episodes of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Um, I can sing all the songs from Frozen and everything else. I'm going to try this on my finger. This is rose water. Um, yeah, so far, Jessica, I don't know. I just, these palettes are so affordable. That's why I was like, you know, I just want to try all of them out. And then I thought, you know, with them being newer, I thought other people might be interested in them is why I did that giveaway which is going to end this Saturday. So if y'all know anybody else that would want to enter that, let them know that um, that's still going on um, because they still have a chance to enter it too. They just have to be subscribed on here and they have to follow me on Instagram. They do, however, have to make sure to comment on the giveaway video or the um, Instagram post because I'm thinking of pulling a winner from both of them. And then Peach Control. Ooh, um, not really. I don't like politics at all. Um, politics are not my thing. One, I okay, really and truly, that don't want to sound stupid. I don't know a whole lot about them. Um, 
me. in college because I went to Ole Miss. There were a Hi, lot everybody. of people that were way into politics because a lot of them were um, a lot of them were going yeah. into like trying to get into the law school at Ole Miss, and they were very much into politics. And I felt like it just started a lot of arguments. So I kind of stay out of them. I feel like the options for the last election were kind of difficult, no, too. To um, okay, I kind of like that. Uh, let me see if I can back up. Like, I know there's like natural light coming through, but it's kind of like a light, shimmery pink. Um, I don't know, maybe that was just like a thing with parents that they used to always watch the news, but um, yeah, I just, it's not my thing. I don't really like it much. All right. I think I'm going to try to leave that fairly light. Did you party all at Ole Miss? Um, before I started nursing school, I might have. So. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely go ahead and mention that because it's just it. like, I mean, these are really nice eyeshadows. Like I know I'm going with the lighter ones, but also in the unboxing with all the swatches and stuff too, like you can see a lot of them have, um, a lot of pigment to them. Okay, yeah. I kind of like that rose color there. So I'll leave that there. Um, all right. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the foundation. You know, actually I didn't do the under the brow. So that one's kind of boring. Everybody knows what you do with that one. Um, I mean, Ole Miss is known as a party school, but once I started nursing school, I really and truly did not get to do much of anything. Nursing school kind of owns you once you start it. Um, at least if you seriously want to graduate, you're going to actually mind yourself and take care of business and not party. And since I wanted to graduate and I've been a nurse for almost 12 years now, yeah, things slowed down those last couple of years for sure. Exactly. There's always bad on the news. Why do I want to just hear bad things? Like that's just depressing. Do I miss nursing school? Not at all. Like, was it worth it? Yes. Cause I like my job very much. I like, I mean, you know, I do love, um, Thank you, Jessica. I do love being a NICU nurse. If I hadn't found that, though, like, I don't know what I would have done, honestly. Like, I worked in pediatrics for a year and a half, and, and that was nice, too, but really and truly, um, the babies are my thing, though, for sure. Like, I just, I like being in the NICU, and as I've started to have my own kids, there's just, you know, something about as you get to know the parents and stuff, too, and it's like the longer I've done it, the more I've just, like, fallen in love with the job, kind of. Granted, I wish I could cut my hours a little bit because I am still full time. I wish I could cut my hours a little just so I could stay home. And I'm going to take a little more of that shimmer on the lid. So I only did it with my finger. I want to try that with the brush just a little. Um, but if somebody came up to me now and told me that I had to go back to nursing school, I really and truly don't know if I want to. They're like, oh, you missed one thing. I don't know if I would really want to, particularly with the kids, really and truly at this point. I really don't know if I would be able to make it work. Like the people that go back to school after they're married and have kids, I don't know how they do it. Where you went to nursing school? Did you go out on Thursday, Thursday? Um, maybe. <laughs> I might have. What is wrong with you? Oh, the balloon. Okay, you're gonna have to give mommy a minute. I can't reach that. I found it as a balloon. Um, where did you work as a tech? I, I mean, I kind of sort of worked as a tech in nursing school, but they would call this nursing interns, but it was in labor and delivery. So, I mean, I really didn't get to do a whole lot. I actually thought I wanted to work in labor and delivery when I graduated. Um, and then like right around where I was at, they wouldn't hire new grads into the labor and delivery. So then I was like, you know what? Pediatrics is fine with me. I know. I just knew I didn't want to work in any of the other adult fields. So I still kind of, not that I work in with laboring patients at all. I don't do that at all, but we do work very closely with the moms right after they have their babies too. So there is that. Um, that's as much as I want to do with an adult. I, I don't mind working with grownups after they have their baby. That's the extent of me wanting to work with an adult. Okay. 
Yeah. That, I have a lot come out in a pump, so that's probably even more than what I needed. I'll wipe it off if I need to, though. Let's try to blow it out. More light classes. Mm, okay, nursing school, I didn't have a choice. Um, the program I was in, oh, that's a very clean smell to it. Oh, at a nursing home. Okay, so I've never worked at that. Now, in clinical, we did go to one of the floors that was very similar. It was a skilled nursing facility, like, um, in the hospital. So that was very similar to, like, a nursing home. Um, that was a lot more foundation than I knew. That's going to take a hot minute to get that blended out. Um, like I said, that last pump, like, the first one didn't get much. That second pump gave out a lot. Um, anyways, but, so... I don't know. I had a lot of early classes, to be honest with you. Like whenever I started in college, my whole first year, I had an 8 a.m. class three days a week. And it was chemistry. That looks really, really light. I think it's just the lighting in here, though. I don't know. Well, I have bronzer. I'll darken it up if I have to. So that's looking really, really light. At least it is to me. I don't know how it's coming across on camera to y'all. It's really hard sometimes picking out like your shade in the store. Oh, um, anyways, but I took the 8 a.m. chemistry class on purpose because he was the best chemistry teacher. And I um, I wanted to have a teacher that would be able to teach me what I needed to know for chemistry. So I don't regret that at all. Um, and then, like, whenever I took microbiology, the only time you could um, – yeah, I had to take Chem 1 and Chem 2 and then the labs. Um, yeah, Jessica, I've never lost, like, older patients, obviously, because I've been in the NICU for so long. Might have all been babies. And um, if you watch the first NICU nurse video, I actually um, posted about that. It was a... I don't want to get into it too much because I basically cried the whole video. Um, but no, that's not a good feeling. And then whenever you've gotten close to the parents too, because we've had some babies that have been there for forever. I mean, that's not a good feeling at all. Um, I think the sponge helped buff that out a lot. Yeah, I think that looks, that smoothed out. Okay. All right, I'm going to try the concealer. Um, I did not enjoy chemistry, so I was real thankful I didn't have to take organic chem. I had a lot of friends that were pre-med majors that had to take organic chem. Not my thing. Um, I, knew, I liked chemistry in high school. That's kind of lame. Okay. And I really think it's some of the lighting, too. Right, and this is, this is, like... A lot lighter than what I would have really expected to. This one's actually called Light Peach. So it's actually a few shades up in their range on the concealer. But I swear, like, all of their concealers, like, it was light for, like, six different shades. And then all of a sudden it got much darker, which I knew wouldn't work. But that's, I mean, concealer's supposed to be light anyways. Um, chemistry class, I honestly don't remember because that's been probably 15 or 16 years ago at this point because I took it freshman year class. Yeah. Um, guys, come on now. I did take an aerobics class last semester before I started nursing school. Yeah. I, uh, because I yeah. took a like, you doing no sir no sir that is not okay well don't throw things at each other but i had taken so, like winter classes and summer classes so i really didn't um boys are rough boys are so rough i was not prepared for boys <laughs> um anyways i got all my classes together really quickly for nursing school um, so that last semester, I just had to kind of fill up my schedule to stay full time. And, um, so I knew I wanted to take aerobics. Yeah, he bumped my chair. I don't know what he just did to bump into my chair. 
on a, if I could be guaranteed to have another girl, just got have another baby, but I'm so afraid I'd have another boy. <laughs> Stop throwing the boat. Stop throwing the boat. It's not even theirs. It's Zach's boat. He got it for his birthday last weekend. That is not yours. Don't touch the boat. Now the boat's on top of the fridge. They can't throw the boat if it's on top of the fridge. You want to sit with me? You want to sit with me? Okay, fine. Um... But it's that last semester to fill up just to stay full time so it didn't like affect my um, financial aid. That was a really light concealer. Like, holy the crap, that's light. Yep, that's Peyton's Bo Peep stuff. I don't know, maybe I'll try it on just my eyes, like as a primer or something, maybe. Or like for cutting the crease. I could always do that. It's not like it was super expensive. I don't know if it's worth trying to take back. But that is super white. But really and truly, because I looked at them in the store, I was like, well, I'm, I can't go with the lightest shades like I normally would because those look absolutely white. But this looks white. And I thought for sure. I was like, surely it's just the way it looks in the package. I'm sure once I get it home. But no, it really does look white. But I do have bronzer. So there is that. Um, oh, oh yeah. Back to the, cause you were asking about the morning classes and stuff too. It, um, yeah. So I knew I was going to take that aerobics class. So I was like, yeah, sure. You know, I go work out at the campus gym anyways. I'll just take that and get credit for it. So I stay full time. I was one credit short, one credit. Boys are ridiculous. These two are rough. My oldest is not near as rough as them. Um, they do it whether I'm on the camera or not too. So it's not just because I'm on here doing my makeup. They literally fight with each other constantly. Do you like Panda Express? Um, I've had it a couple of times. We have a couple places closer to the house that we'll normally get Chinese food from though. So we don't particularly go to Panda Express. They actually only opened one by us recently. Oh, but I took scuba diving. That's what I was getting at. That whole time talking about that with the try to fill up my schedule, I took scuba diving because I needed one extra hour. My dad thought I was joking whenever I first told him. Whenever I was pregnant with my oldest, though. Okay, good. So it's not just me. All little boys do that. I, it's, like I said, I was not prepared to be a boy mom. I thought that I would have all girls, you know, back whenever you were a kid and you picture like what you're going to be as a grown up type thing. I didn't think I would have boys and God laughed at me and gave me three of them, but they're cute and they're normally lovable. And then they come and they sit on you and fart. Peyton's a lot of fun. It was her hundredth day of school today. So it was actually kind of nice that I got called off from work. So I was able to go up to her little parade at the school and she was so excited. I put rollers in her hair. My hair is actually slightly curly at the bottom because she wanted me to do the roller rollers with her because she wanted to look like an old lady or she was supposed to look like an old lady. So she was definitely my little bestie while we were doing that last night. I wanted to do them this morning. Our babysitter was going to help her with it since I was supposed to go to work. Um, but it actually was better that I did them last night, though, because then I didn't have to worry about it, like, last minute getting everything put in. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> um, yes. What is Stephen doing? Tell Stephen to get out here. Tell Stephen to get out here. Where, where is Stephen? Tell him to get out here. I don't know. Some of these little boys are sneaky too. Alex back there, he likes to grab the strawberries and run off and hide in his room. Like, man, you could have strawberries. Like, I, I don't really know. I don't, I don't understand the sneakiness of hiding with the strawberries. Well, that's how I normally do my concealer because I'm normally not used to being that freaking white. I'm trying real hard to figure out what brush I'm going to use for this. So I kind of want to tell Steven to get out here. 
Tell Steve-O mommy wants to see him. Steven? What are you doing? Steven Lane. Get out here. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, all of my kids are close in age. They're all like right at two years apart, almost. Peyton and Alex are the closest. They're 19 months apart. Good. Oh, just one second. All right, so trying to look for the under eye. I think I'm going to go in with this darker blue here. That one. I think I'm going to smudge that one under my eye. What did I do with the brushes? Literally just there they are. That one's kind of small. It might be a little too small, but I think I'm going to use it kind of like a liner. So I think that should be work. That should work. My oldest is just not rough. Are they going to play football? Um, Alex is going to play t-ball soon. He's the four-year-old. Um, my oldest hasn't played any sports yet. And I've kind of felt bad about that. But at the same time, he had a really bad speech delay for so long that he was in speech and occupational therapy that we didn't feel like it would be a good decision to try to play sports when we were working on so many other things with them that we just didn't put him in anything. And now he's eight. So now I'm kind of afraid of how he would even get caught up. Um, well, at least he gave you an even number both ways. Peyton wants a sister so bad. Whenever she's tired and cranky and mad at her brothers, she tells me, she's like, I didn't even want any brothers. I want a sister. Well, you know, you get what you get. God doesn't give you a choice. Um, but we've talked about letting the boys play football. The problem is there's so many injuries with football. Not that you can't get injured doing other things, but my husband actually got injured, um, he was in middle school. I want to say it was eighth grade, maybe, maybe seventh grade, but the two people that tackled him, they like came from either side and it like knocked his knee out of place, which I know can happen. But the problem is like, they never could, they never got it right after that, basically. So he didn't get to play after that. So he didn't even get to play in high school because he got, like, it kept filling up with fluid. And, um, I mean, he went to specialists over it. Him and his mom have both told me that. Like, they've done literally every scan they could on it, and they couldn't figure out why it kept filling back up with fluid. And you can still hear it pop. Um, so he's worried about the boys getting injured. Mm, yeah, they're not really quiet unless they're asleep. They're not being quiet right now. That door's shut, but I can hear something happening with the train table. Yeah, I mean, granted, I didn't know him then, so I didn't see it, but the sound of what happened to his knee did not sound pleasant. You can still hear it pop every time he, like, if he's kneeling down and getting back up, you can hear it crack and pop all the way. They don't really hide it very well because they go eat it. Alex really likes crackers too. So sometimes he'll sneak off with crackers. Um, but I don't know why he started hiding with the strawberries. We're like, man, don't hide with the strawberries. We'll wash them for you. Don't go hide with them. Uh, Jessica, do y'all have um, a train table? Because ours never stays together. Never, ever, ever does that thing stay together. I have like the picture saved of what it is supposed to go together and look like. And I swear to you, it never stays like the picture. Like they just destroy it. Like they love it. And they're so excited. And they'll play with the trains along the little track and over the bridge. And then it's like Godzilla comes and smashes it. You would think that it would stop as they got older. That blue under is a little bit lighter than what I would have expected. But I think I kind of like it. So I think I'm going to leave that alone. Oh, good. They're screaming at each other. That's a good way to go. Um, let's see. I almost did the hot jalapeno one today because I've been looking at that one. The gold's really pretty when I swatched it. So I almost did that one. Um, hmm. No, we'll go back to the rose water one since that's the one that I've been using. I'm going to go in with that lighter shade right there. 
Well, I'm glad that y'all were able to get on here. I know the middle of the day is sometimes kind of hard. Um, but whenever the boy, well, Alex probably isn't going to nap, but whenever Steven naps, I have a lot of laundry I have to fold. So I thought might as well do this while I have an opportunity. And I mean, they were eating lunch. So that did give me like a few minutes with them being civil. It's really frustrating when they run off with food. Like you don't even know that they have it. And then you find like the uncrustable wrapper later or the string cheese wrapper. I was real mad about the uncrustable wrapper because that has sugar. That's a lot of sugar. And I keep trying to tell them, I was like, y'all, you're lucky you don't have bugs in your room. Like stop leaving wrappers in here. I've tried telling them, like, you're not even allowed to eat in your room at all. So it shouldn't be a thing. Like wrappers shouldn't be in here. And I've tried organizing these kids' rooms. They don't last. Like, my husband doesn't understand what happens. I was like, because you have kids, honey, and they're small. That is why their rooms look the way that they do. Right, I think I'm going to leave that alone. So, I'm glad I got to play with these a little bit. Um, probably going to do a smoky look soon with the truffles, if anybody's still interested in that. Don't know if I'll go live for all that, though. Got like blue flakes all over everything from using this. Cut everything open while I was looking at them. Um, all right, so you know, where's the mascara? There's the mascara. Okay, this one's just one that I got from Boxy Trim. I mean, I have been liking it. I've mentioned it in a few other videos, but um, yeah, not Elf. So, um, this blush trio I'm actually going to use, it was a free gift whenever I did my elf order. So I haven't actually tried it out yet. I want to say it's called rosy flush. My Apple watch keeps going off too. I don't know, that concealer could probably work for today, but yeah, I feel like it dried down a good amount. Um, the brushes were something that I got for free to review, and I know I've already done a video reviewing them, but I really like these. These do care brushes are really, really nice. Like I use them almost every day. Like I still use my Morphe brushes a lot, but these I use a lot with the Morphe ones, but I have them in a coffee mug. So they were real, they were real easy for me to be able to bring out here for this because I've been doing my lives like at our desktop computer. So it was easy to be able to bring that out here for this. At least Steven doesn't have as many toys in, in his room as the other kids do, so there shouldn't be as much all over the place. Okay, that is a lot from Instagram that I'll have to check in a minute. All right. So this is by Wet n Wild. It's their um, Ticket to Brazil bronzer. It is lighter, but I actually really like this one because then you don't have to work as far trying to blend it out. Um, and with me having light skin, I mean, I've been working on learning how to contour more, but sometimes it's really nice to grab a lighter bronzer and not have to work as hard for it. Like just naturally add in a little bit of color without having to get crazy trying to buff it out. Just, I don't know how you make dinner for eight kids. Um, I mean, granted, I do have another friend that has eight kids that told them that before, too. I was like, how do you cook for that many people? You know, really and truly, after you get done cooking, and then you have to fix everybody's plates. Granted, you have a couple older kids, so maybe it's not. Maybe they can at least help semi with their plate. But I know there have been sometimes when I've fixed dinner, and they, of course, wanted to snack the whole way through. And then you get done, and you're like, and now I have to cut up everybody's chicken. I have to fix, like, if we're doing salad, you're like, I hate doing salad just because it's so much work to put it together on everybody's plates. And 
I mean, the baby doesn't eat a ton of salad, but Zach and Alex will actually eat it pretty good. So you're like, well, I don't mind fixing it. And it's a good amount of vegetables and y'all actually eat it. But hmm, our work to lay it out on everybody's plate. Why is that broken? It's not shutting now. I don't know why that's not shutting. Okay. So this is the blush duo that I got for free. I don't know how much this one is normally. I want to say maybe three dollars. I can't remember, but it is called Rosy Flesh. Um that's what I'm gonna use for the highlights. Let's not use that one. No, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> It's hard. I know it's hard. And it is a Monday. So there are probably people that are just working. They're like, sorry, dude, I can't. But that's fine. People can always watch later too. So lives are still fairly new to me. I know that I've seen you doing some and I haven't been able to actually get on. Wow. You have it. Hey, Trish, thank you for jumping on. Um, I got a little clumpy. Okay. All right. So I feel like the rosy one might be just a little dark. So I'm going to take a little bit of that one and a little bit of the peachy one and see how that does okay i'm gonna buff that out a little bit with the sponge here in a second too hey trish i don't remember if you've entered my giveaway but that's what i was talking about earlier too is i still have my giveaway going on for these elf bite size palettes um so if you want to check out that video after this one <laughs> that video is only like two minutes it's a really short video um, and I still have that giveaway going on until it'll end Saturday morning at midnight. Oh, I, Hey girl, thank you for getting on here. That is the one thing that's hard about lives. Like they can be really fun. Um, they can be really fun, especially like my last one, really, it took a whole entire hour because I had, um, a couple of my girls that were like, you know, they were on and they were able to actually chat, but it was a little bit later in the afternoon too. But okay, so this is the little elf bite size palettes. I held them up earlier in this video too. If y'all get a chance to go back and look at it. Um, I don't know. There's something that's fun about going live, especially cause I can talk back to you. Like it's not just answering the comments, um, which I try to do as much as I can. Um, I don't, I really like these little packages too. They're so small and they're so affordable. They're only three bucks. So, um, Oh, wow. Three hours long. Yeah. I haven't done any lives on Facebook at all. Um, and this is the other one. This is one of the ones that I've used today, this one, and then this rose water. Um, they are really pretty. I did an unboxing when I got them in the mail. Also that video, I want to say that one's at least under 20 minutes. If you want, um, if you, uh, want to check that out so you can see the swatches. So that way, if you happen to win the giveaway, you could tell me which palettes you wanted. Um, oh, you don't have Facebook. Yeah, I've seen that. I've had Facebook since it came out, like back whenever it used to be a thing where you had to be in college to have a Facebook account. Like you had to have a college email. And so now everybody can have Facebook. My mom has Facebook. My grandparents have Facebook. Oh, I remember I'd, I didn't grab a highlight because I was going to use one of the eyeshadows. I'm actually going to use hmm, this one is from, I think this is Cream and Sugar. Yeah, this one's like your very basic palette. I actually, I looked at this one and I was like, I think it's really pretty for being such a simple palette. Um, let's see, I'm going to use this light shimmer right there. I'm going to use that as the highlight today. I'm kind of getting nervous about what that room looks like. Those boys have been back there for a while. Fucking support <laughs> to do a full face of elf. Yeah. And that's just it. I was going to do mostly elf products today. And then I realized I was like, I don't have just all elf. I almost picked up a highlight palette today. And then I was like, nope, don't need. I have a lot of highlighters. I was like, but I really wanted to do a full face of elf. And then I was like, but I was like, okay, I'll, I'll live without that highlight. But it was on sale. It was only five bucks. They had like, it's random how our Walmart has like, random elf products 50% off like I don't really understand what they're doing they really truly need to restock like they have like a little section in with all the cosmetics like just on the wall of cosmetics and 
And then they have another little like turnaround thing that it used to be like out in the center aisle and it's not there. Um, yeah, I had like some of their little like quads from back in the day. And like they were nice, but I had so many other things that I reached that I was reaching for. Um, oh, primer. Um, yeah, see, I haven't tried any of their mascara. So, yeah, it is a Randy, actually. I think I won this one, if I remember correctly. Um, I have a couple of the Randys. Um, the girl that I got this from actually isn't selling LuLaRoe anymore. Um, it's one of those things where you're like, I want kind of a simple shirt, but not just like the same plain shirt every day. So, I, I don't know. I kind of like the sleeves of it. And I feel like, you know what, I think this was... I'm pretty sure that I did one and it was like a mystery. It just showed up in the mail and she gave it to me. I have one that has Ariel on it too that I was really excited about. Um, that worked pretty well for a highlight. I don't know if they still have that $5 elf highlight palette. I might go back and grab it. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm really necessarily worried about trying elf's mascara. Um, I still have a lot of mascara that's not even open yet. Let me go ahead and get the if y'all haven't tried the heated eyelash curler thing, I have a video up on that too. But I got this one just to try it out for free, but I actually like it a lot. I usually never see like, What? Is he mean? Uh huh. Don't be mean to him. Yeah, I have so many leggings. You know what? The problem is, like, I was like on such a Lula Row kick for so long. Like, I have. Tons of them, especially when they came. Yeah, yeah you want to show them your shark? Yeah. The biggest baby shark fan ever. That's not a baby shark, though. Um, but I have tons and tons of Disney kinks. Um, but yeah, like basically nobody I know sells it anymore either, but I've taken myself out of a lot of the groups too because really and truly I don't need any more leggings. Like it's kind of stupid how many pairs that I actually have and how much money I've spent. But some of them I've won for free too. So there is that. Um, but I've really gotten hurt. I don't like that they don't have pockets. Like I like to be able to keep my phone in my pocket. I don't want to have to go grab it every time that I need to, you know, text my husband or you know, now that I have like YouTube and Instagram and stuff, like I don't want that to be a thing where it's hard for me to be able to like write people back. And I film from my phone, so I like having my phone on me. Um, so yeah, I'd say that's my biggest complaint is that leggings don't have pockets. So I pretty much don't wear them like I used to. Although I still haven't gotten rid of a lot of them, though. I still have most of them. And some of that partly is because of the Disney prints. I'm just not going to get rid of those. Um, but also living in Florida, it's hot here a lot of the year. Like, it's cold right now, so I could wear them, but I haven't been. <laughs> yeah, I've been so bad about buying clothes in the last several years. Other than leggings, I really hadn't bought much of anything else. But I've started picking up things like... Oh, I legit have like 50 pairs or more. Maybe it's stupid. Um, but like the holiday leggings would get me too. And oh, it's ridiculous. It's like seriously a problem. Um, but they have like cute basic prints. And then, like I said, I love the Disney ones. I love the holiday ones. Um, I have rolled some of them up for the summer. Also, I could wear the tween or the one size. Tween was definitely more tight but they were like capri length so those were those were decent to wear when it was hot because i could still wear i do like the little red tank tops i like those a lot um but a lot of the little red stuff was really expensive too like the carly dresses yeah they were comfortable but i didn't want every carly dress known to man because they were like 55 dollars each <laughs> I have gotten some cute ones in tween though. That way I was able to match my daughter. Um, you know, I think I'm about done. Um, actually with everything. And this is definitely not Elf, but I got it from Boxy Loops and I love it. It's that Too Faced something kind of a lip gloss. 
This one's nice, too. What do they call this? High shine sparkling? I don't know. I just like it. My mom still wears her leggings a lot. Mm, I have a few Irmas from Lululemon that I really like, too. But the thing with the Irmas is I had actually done this for the boys' birthday party back in October. Um... Oh, it was the Buzz Lightyear. Irma. I'd actually won that one, the Little Mermaid, um, Randy Top, and um, oh, yes, this thing. Hey, Jessica, I'll send you the link for it from Amazon because um, if you have it in channel and stuff too, they might let you get this one for free to try out also. I like this thing a lot. Um, um what was I going to say? I was going to train with that. Or, oh, but the Irma's. So the thing that was kind of cool with that, like I've done it as like a halter top, but sometimes it can get a little tight in it, but I've also like tied it off in the front and had it as just like um, a strapless top. It was really cute. A lot of people really like that for the boys' birthday party, especially because it was Buzz Lightyear. So it kind of fit with like all the Toy Story decorations. And uh, my hair is so flat. I even tried to use like my volumizing dry shampoo and I cannot get it to get any. It's probably because it's so long. Like I have a lot of hair. It's probably partly why. Um, probably partly why it doesn't have a whole lot of body to it. So it's just really, really long. Um, but yeah. So. Thank y'all for jumping on here. <laughs> you know, it was a weird time of the day, I think. Maybe, well, for some people, like if you're working, it was probably a hard time to get on here. But um, you know, it's been up for almost an hour now, so there is that. But anyways, um, I mean, I appreciate it that y'all were here too. So um, I don't know. I kind of like doing the lives now that I've done a couple of them. They're just kind of fun, and um, yeah. I don't have super thick hair, but I have really long hair, and I like long hair. Granted, I wear it up a lot, though. One, because it just seems to get in the way when you're just doing things, and I have to have it up at work. It's required. If you, I mean, if you have short hair, obviously, you can't really pull it up, but if you have long hair, you have to have it up so it doesn't, like, um, oh, you've been up since 7. Oh, my first alarm clock went off at 4.45 this morning. I ignored it a few times. And then I got in the shower and then um, whenever I got out of the shower and I went to look what time it was, it was 537 and I had a missed call from work telling me that I was canceled this morning. I was like, oh, I guess I will just go ahead and drink my coffee and get ready for the day. Um, I can't do short hair. I don't like myself with short hair at all. Like the shortest I've ever gone, I think was shoulder length. And I think that I looked funny. Um I don't, well, Jessica, if you ever come to Florida, you need to let me know. Um, I'm not going to say right here on the live where I live at, but <laughs> I just got, I will definitely talk to you because if um, y'all come to Florida, if you're close enough, I mean, me and the kids could totally come meet you at the beach. Um, we live very close to the beach. Peyton told me the other day, I was telling her, I was like, Peyton, I can't wait for summertime and we're going to go to the splash pad all the time again. And like the movie theater close to us does free kids movies on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They don't even make the grown up pay to get in. Like you just get to come out and go to the free movie. And um, yeah, I don't live in South Florida, but um, no, one of my uncles lives down by um, close to Tampa. But um, yeah, and Peyton pointed out to me, because I was naming off like the splash pad and the movies and stuff. So I don't take them to the beach by myself much. Um, but she pointed out to me, she's like, yeah, we can go to the beach all the time. Yeah, what? Yeah, Do you want to watch Baby Shark? Yeah. No, you don't want to watch Baby Shark? Yeah. We're like 10 minutes from the beach where we're at. Do you want to watch Toy Story again? Yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead and send me your number because if y'all do happen to come anywhere close by, I would meet you with the kids. Do you want to watch Toy Story? Yeah. That one? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Toy Story 3? Uh-huh. That's no, a good I don't one. Like it. Well, that's too bad. Steven wants to watch it. You picked the last one. Uh, 
I don't want it. Oh, that's just too bad you don't like it. All right, y'all. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and get off of here since the makeup's actually done at this point. But uh, make sure to go check out the giveaway video. Um, I know Jessica was going to mention it to a couple more people, too. I, I'm going to try to do um, a random comment from Instagram and from YouTube. I'd like to get a few more people maybe commenting on the YouTube one, though. Um, but, yeah, so that will get pulled sometime on Saturday. So, yeah, I'll see you all later.